the team is overwhelmed with excitement and, uh, and joy to have successfully landed another rover on the surface of Mars. This rover is an epic effort. It, it represents um, eight years of hundreds of engineers at the laboratory, thousands around the world, a total of over 4,000 human years of investment. When we do such investments, we do them for humanity, and we do them as a gesture of our humanity. This is an image of the rover Perseverance slung beneath the descent stage, its propulsion backpack, as it is being lowered to the surface of Mars. You can see the dust kicked up by the rover's engines. We're probably about two meters or so above the surface of Mars. We're still checking the timing of this image. It's just hot off the press. You can see the mechanical bridles that hold the uh, uh, rover underneath the descent stage. as three straight lines heading down to the top deck. And then the curly electrical umbilical that is taking all of the electrical signals from the descent stage down to the computer inside the belly of the rover. In fact, the ones and zeros that represent this image will travel down that uh, umbilical before it is cut and the rover is left safe on the surface of Mars. Uh, this image was acquired by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, um, one of our orbiters uh, that's orbiting around Mars. Um, you can see here in the uh, zoomed in part of the image uh, in the upper right, uh, our spacecraft uh, with a fully inflated parachute um, and hanging underneath it, our protective entry capsule. Um, like Adam said, with the uh, descent stage, the uh, yeah the descent stage downlook image, uh, we're still figuring out the exact timing uh, of when uh, this image was taken as well. Uh, so uh, it's even possible uh, that we had uh, already um, uh, come out of the uh, of the protective entry capsule. Uh, and we're coming down on rockets to the surface, uh, but we, we haven't quite analyzed this enough to figure that out. Uh, if you look uh, just below uh, to the little circle uh, that you see on the screen, uh, this was our eventual touchdown point. Um, you can see it's, uh, it's near uh, the delta uh, that we've talked about uh, that's so interesting to the scientists, and, I'm, and we'll get some updates uh, on that uh, coming up here. Uh, but just to give you an idea of all of the things that had to go correctly uh, for us to make it to this point, um, at the point that that image was acquired, uh, we had already uh, undergone entry into the Martian atmosphere uh, right on time, uh, traveling at 5.3 kilometers per second. Uh, we, have we already uh, had undergone the searing heat uh, of entry uh, and pulled uh, somewhere around uh, 11 Gs of force as we decelerated quickly uh, while entering the atmosphere. Uh, and we had uh, steered our path uh, through the atmosphere of Mars uh, using thrusters uh, and lift uh, from our vehicle um, so that we could zero in on our eventual target uh, here in Jezero Crater. Uh, this was an image captured by our rear hazard avoidance camera. Uh, so this is looking backwards from the Perseverance rover's perspective. Uh, when I look at this image, uh, First of all, I feel a great sense of relief. <laughs> and uh, second of all, uh, I see a landing site uh, that looks relatively safe, uh, free of boulders, uh, free of cliffs, uh, free of great slopes. Um, and that's what we spent a lot of time and effort, um, you know, making sure I, that we identified those spots on Mars uh, so that we could um, you know, safely set the rover down uh, in, in what we considered uh, the best possible spot. So if we go to the next image, um, we'll see again these fantastic color images from the engineering cameras. And this is one of the first views we have on the surface. 
And, and while this area didn't have a lot of rocks and that the engineers were thankful for that, for a safe landing, um, we have enough for the scientists to really sink their teeth into. And one of the things that the scientists have first started to think about when we look at images like this is what the rocks are made of and what they look like. And so we're picking out different colors and tones and textures to try to figure out what these rocks might represent and what depositional process might have put these rocks on the surface of Mars. If we go to the next image, this is a close-up, and this is a really interesting image from a geological perspective. So what we see there by the, the edge of the wheel is a rock, and one of the first things we noticed was that it has a lot of holes or bugs in it. And there are a number of different geological processes that can make holes in a rock like that. And so the science team is now thinking about what this might mean. And one of the questions we'll ask first is whether these rocks represent a volcanic or sedimentary origin. And both of those would be equally exciting to the team, so we can't wait to find out. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.